Now you want to do is starting with opening up the channels on your body. This is very important. So grab your gua sha too. Okay, we opening up your channels in your body activates the lymphatic drainage by starting with the side of the ear. Okay, starting with the side of the ear. So let's go with the left side first. So, so you want to go with go up from here, go up and go back. Okay, so you want to activate the lymphatic drainage. Okay, so you want to go up and back. We have more than 10 acupressure points around your ear and also big group of lymphatic nodes around the ear. So gentle pressure because when you're using these tools, you don't use any pressures. You just go sliding and scraping, okay? So go up and down for about 10 times, okay? So you're not go up and down. You just go up and then down, which is the back of the ear. So go up and down back of the ear, okay? So stimulating that point. This side as well. Go up and down. So this is the one you want to do to activate the lymphatic drainage at the first beginning. This is my night routine. It's very simple. And this side as well, I don't have to even look at. Just go up and down, up and down, up and down gentle pressure and or no pressure just go sliding okay for about 10 times on each side then change the direction of the two and then sliding go start bigger area go up and higher and down go up and higher and down this is very simple like five minutes you can do it before you go to bed Okay, and same thing with this side, up and down and bigger area to stimulate the lymphatic drainage and activate the channel before you do anything facial. You want to do more about activate the lymphatic drainage around the ear and activate the acupressure points of the small intestine and gallbladder meridians. And then next is targeted on the gallbladder meridian. Okay, go, just go. And this muscle, okay, so you want to go a little bit scraping. You don't put any pressure, just the scraping. Okay, four about five times, okay? And this is very, prevent migraines, headache. Also, release the tension of this muscle, which is the muscle causing a lot of people who have a sagging face, okay? Okay, that's good, and that's number one. And number two you wanna do is doing more warming up and increase the blood flow on your neck. So grab another two, okay? So from the back and go all the way up and go down, okay? And for about, I will do like 20 times on both sides. I'm focusing on more about the back of the ear, the, the bone, the back of the ear, that's very important. Okay? And also the occipital nerve is right in here. So the one, the hollow, where the hollow, you wanna go stick your two inside the hollow, okay? And just do sliding. Same thing with this side. And just sliding inside and go down. And for about, I do very fast, but you don't have to do very fast. I'm sorry, I don't know why the phone is turned dark, but can you guys see me properly? Can you guys see me properly? I think it just, are you going to save this live? I don't have the two to try it out yet. I'm going to save it. Yeah, okay. You guys see me good because my screen is become dark. Okay, so and after that, remember, number one is the year. Number two 
is the back of the ear and neck and back of your neck. And number three, you want to do is starting doing more gua sha on the clavicle bones. We're not touching our face yet because you want to actually connect in your face to your internal organ by stimulating the points on your neck and your ear and your clavicle bones. So you want to do this. You don't, you don't need to use any oil yet. Okay. So this is your clavicle bone, just right underneath your clavicle bone. And that's connecting with your ICM muscle. That's the reason causing a lot of double chin. Okay. So this is the one. Same thing. And this side. Okay. And do it five times on each side. Then you are going to squeeze your shoulder. This is going to be my night routine. It's only five to seven minutes. Okay. Shake it out and squeeze your arm. Now you finish all the activate, all you stimulate all the acupressure points. You open the big channel of the acupuncture channel and meridian channel. Then how long will it take to order your tools? It's only two to three business, business days to US and five to eight business days to other country. Okay. And then one to two business days to Canada. Okay. Now we are starting working on our face now. So number one you need to do is drop the oil use. Okay. So, um, this is my oil. I'm going to sell the oil in the future, but, um, make sure you buy the oil, which is having the bottle, which is, uh, mirror on, gra mirror on glass. Okay. Otherwise it's going to be not good. So what I normally use is, hold on. I almost finished using this oils actually. Just just be a set. I, f I finished this bottle. I only have one left. But I'm asking the manufacturer to send me more because uh, I want more Jehovah oil inside. I mix myself. It's the Jehovah oil and rose hip and almond oil. And I put a little bit of the essential oils. Okay, but you know, it's... It's not a big deal. You can use whatever, whatever you, oil you have. You have, you can use jujoba oil, a rose hip, an almond, because the oil is only working on as a barrier. So what I normally do is I use a lot, just like quite a bit. Okay. Okay. Um, and I just put everywhere on my face, not avoid the eye area. Okay. Avoid the eye area. I have a little acne, by the way, but yeah. Okay, so everywhere, and you can put a little bit on your neck because you're going to be gliding because this is not enough. You need to put a lot of oils as a barrier. So I, I see a lot of people teaching and they only drop a couple drops, which is not. This is the routine. You're going to do it three times a week. And after that, you're going to be have to take a shower. Okay. I'll do a lot more oil. It's a key because more oil, you, you can find the nodule. You can find the tension. And when you find the tension with the oil, you, you don't have to use big pressures. Okay. Do not use pressure. You have three big important nerve run here and run here, run here. So all connecting right here. So it's superficial and you don't want to use too much pressures. Okay, especially with the two. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, okay, so I'm starting with working on my forehead. So on the forehead, and it's very good, it's just doing a little warming up, but hold one side and doing another side. Just gliding, gliding, gliding. So, and then hold your scalp. And do gliding up. You need to always hold. Hold is the key. You, you always need to hold. Okay. And gliding and gliding. You need to hold there. Okay. When you do any operation on your face, hold one side. It's very important. Okay. So now we're starting gliding a little bit of your eyebrow. This is what I normally do before I go to bed. Okay. Same thing. Hold and gliding and gliding. 
and gliding. Okay, so because you don't want to pull your skin, okay, you don't want to pull your skin. Now it's gonna be grab our little meridian dauber, and you want to working on it's on everything edge. So this is the bone edge. So you want to working on everything edge, okay, everything. An edge, okay. So when you stimulate the points, and you don't have to do anything, but when you do anything gliding, and make sure you have to hold, okay. Anything gliding, you need to hold. Okay, you can hold here, you can hold here, and doesn't matter. Just whenever you feel comfortable, okay. And you want to do more stimulating right here, right here. You want to do more gliding. It's can, do not do if you're pregnant, okay? So this right here is a point you want to do a little bit more, especially to open it up the bigger meridian. That's the point you want to do more right here. And then you want to do more right here because that's another point. And you want to do more right here. You're not using any pressures because you're using all you and you only need to gliding. And when you're gliding, you know where is that tension are. It's very important. You know where is the tension, right here. Can you see it? Can you guys? I can. You can actually hear it. That's the thing. You can hear it. Okay. My phone it just keep turn black, but okay. Okay, gliding, gliding, and gliding. Okay. You can see this is already lifting up. And this entire eye is already lifting up. It's not start yet. So what I normally do is when you, when me because I'm I'm having more problem is around my eye. I don't have much problem on my chin, so I will do more there. But if you don't have much problem and you're good with that with that area, then moving on with this side, okay? Moving. You can see this is already lifting, and this is entire. So you need to pay attention to, is. You don't need to use. I can't emphasize too much because you once you put oil, you, you already feel that, okay, right in that area. That's bladder points and go a little bit, and go a little bit, and you want to gliding in this area. Basically, there are two lines, and one is right above your eyebrow, one is right below your eyebrow. That's the line. If you are, uh, cause I know there is the people who are um, running their own clinic. You learn from me. That's good, but you have to pay attention too. When you do it on the clients, make sure ask them to close their eyes. Cause I'm have to teach you guys. That's why I don't close my eyes. What I normally do, I just, I just close my eyes. It is better. Okay, ask them to close the eyes if you do it on your clients. Okay. Then starting a little bit, go up. Starting, I have more problem on this. I just gliding, gliding. No pressure, okay. You just because just if you have a little nodule right here, you can do a little pressure, but you don't have to do it. Don't have to do it, okay. So this is already warming up. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Is you wanna do zigzag with cross feet and you spreading the cross feet. So it's good if you have your own eye cream because that's good and you can put some eye cream rather than your facial oil. Okay. That's what I normally do. Cause I, remember I don't put my facial oils under my eye. Okay. I only put my facial oils on my face. I, I'm myself is gonna be only five minutes, but I teach you guys so, so it's a little bit take longer. Okay, so spreading that cross feet, go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Make sure you need to always zigzag down and then putting down back, and that's the reason why it's gonna be working. If you only, some people just only do this. This is not gonna work. You need to spread. And then zigzag, 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 spread, zigzag, and down. Okay, you can see that difference. That already not much puffiness.